Ladies and gentlemen, thank you for joining us here today for what will be episode 21 of the Bangcast. I am, of course, Greg Guy, also joined here by Casey, who I will now be referring to from here on out as Ginger Tut. And uh, we also have a guest here today. Um, in honor of Mother's Day, I thought it would be a good idea to get my mom on here and just sit down, have a conversation, talk about some things, talk about different things, and, uh, you know, it just as, you know, a sign of appreciation, you know, because, well, I mean, I thought it would be a good, you know, tribute for all the mothers out there. You're representing all mothers. You have a lot to... Yes, happy Mother's Day to all the mothers out there. So, I mean, would you like to say anything? Would you like to introduce yourself? Would you like to let, you know... And, uh, the people out there know anything about you? Oh, well, like I said, I've always been referred to as mom. That's by by with, many people. By many people, yeah. Mostly uh, my son's friends, and uh, <laughs> they've always just referred to me as mom. Uh, yeah, I mean, we also kind of did that, you know, with, you know, pretty much all of our moms. Like, you know, I call your mom mom. I, I call Mike's mom mom. Well, I, you know, lady. Shout out, lady. I'll be honest, I don't know any of the moms other than my own mom's first name. <laughs> They're all mom. <laughs> They're all mom. There you go. Right. You you know my mom. Do you know my mom's first name? I do. It's Chris. <laughs> all right. You're better than me. That's right. I'm a better son than your own. <laughs> you should have came on to the podcast and talked to us. So anyway, yes, I just, like I said, you know, just, just to, you know, reiterate, I thought it would be good to, you know, just sit down and show the appreciation that, you know, you know, sons and daughters should have for, you know, their mothers, you know, on particular, with, with Mother's Day coming up and everything. So, well, thoughts and comments on that? Thank you, on man. why, really now that you it. actually know what my reasoning was for okay. asking you on here, yes. does that, you know, make you feel more confident in, in, in what we're doing here? Oh, uh, I've always had confidence in you in doing this, and I commend you for it. Uh, all of you that have done this, uh, I'm very proud of each and every one of you. Fair enough. Getting, now, out, getting okay. out of your comfort zone and expressing yourselves. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I mean, that's a good place to start off. What did you think when I first told you that, yeah, you know, we were going to start making videos and put them up on YouTube? Do you think I, I just lost my mind? No, completely? I thought, well, wow, that's another way of communicating. It is. Uh, besides video games and playing that. Well, I mean, uh, when you're playing a video game, you're only communicating with your controller. Yes, most of the time. But if you're online, you're communicating with other games. There's other people. Other people, gamer. And, it's just yeah. like, and this is another avenue of, of communicating. Yeah, all right. Well, that's uh, fair enough. So now, yeah, um, I thought it was a good idea. On top of that, it's new skills to learn. Exactly. So, like I said, uh, as your grandmother, my mother always said, uh, learn something new every day. And if you don't, you might as well give up. Okay, well, you know, fair enough. Well, that was dark. Don't give up, people. That's right. <laughs> <laughs> Just try to, uh, let's say, be the best person that you can well, be. Well, what about, what about people that think they know everything? There's always something that you can learn. <laughs> But there's there, always there, something, there's always new information out there, and if but, you don't go out there and seek it, you'll never find it. Yep, but there's ignorant people out there that think they know everything. Well, then they, very, would, very they would have to be glued to everything. Every, every single 12-year-old in the world. Uh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, so, uh, let me go ahead and ask you, what, what was I like as a, as a child? Uh, well, you were very adventurous, that's for certain. Meaning? Uh, meaning, uh, well, let's see, okay, a prime example of when you were on your big wheels, okay, and you were riding around and on the, 
you know, lane out there, and it's just like, oh, well, let's go new territory, and go down the lane, and go down the road, and it's just like, okay, and then your older brother and myself, it's just like, you know, we're running after you, and it's just like, you're very adventurous, like I said. So, so I had, took a big wheels on up. Uh, yeah, you did, on the road, most definitely. Ballers. Yes. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> How probably, old was I at this point in time? You were probably maybe uh, two and a half, three. Mm -hmm. That's right. You, you know where you were going? Already breaking the law. <laughs> <laughs> or decided that, like, okay, oh. well, you, got, you also had a, a small little vehicle that you used to ride around in the living room and, and everything, and it's just like, oh, decided that, well, um, instead of carrying it, or asking somebody to carry it down to the basement, you thought you're going to ride down the basement steps, and <laughs> it, uh, it's, it's like a it's like a Gonzo thing. It's like where, okay, where Gonzo's so, always trying to do stunts so and it's like, like that. okay, and then I had to take you to the hospital. So uh, it's like you've probably broken every extremity in your body, pretty much, and always had to go to the emergency room. And yeah, so like I said, you've been very adventurous in your life. Yeah, your yeah. thought it was not to kick the the bike down the stairs or no. whatever. It was mm -hmm. to ride it's it. It's to downstairs. ride it down there. Yeah. Come on, man. It's all about the adventure. <laughs> That's right. It's about the adventure. It's about the ride. Well, you, uh -huh. you you went somewhere. You went straight to the hospital. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Which at that point in time, I gotta assume was that the first time I was at the hospital? No. 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 Oh, I mean, no. I, I mean, after jumped, I was bored, you, but you jumped up and down. Let's see. You were probably about the, you had just maybe about eighteen months. You had learned to walk and then jumping up on everything, and you were jumping up on the uh, sofas or whatever, and you jumped off. Uh, you're supposed to have, like, you were flying or whatever, and jumped off, and we had a coffee table, and you split your eyebrow open, and I had to take you to the hospital to get stitches for that. So, yeah. I did uh -huh. something similar to this. So I, I, I hit my head on, a, on one of those yeah. uh, water heaters on the side, jumping off a of bed. <laughs> So can, it's like, can I just okay. say that forget about you know what is that DC Comics or whatever? I was the original Superman from these stories. Yes, always. most definitely. I don't, I don't, I don't remember anything. Uh, well, well, that was probably a concussion, so you probably don't remember that. <laughs> Fair enough. <laughs> <laughs> the, the CTE is strong up here. But any other ones? Uh, I, I would say. Oh well, you fractured your leg and was in high school, and you uh, was on home teaching, and they said that you, you could. Do you, okay, all right. Do, mm -hmm. do you do you specifically remember this? Because okay. this happened the first period in eleventh grade. Okay. We was we was in gym. You, I think you, you were in my gym leg. class too. Yeah, and, and you had to go on home teaching. Well, no, they made me walk the rest of the day at school because they wanted to send me home. Uh, well, anyway, my, uh, you... I was like, I was yeah, like... Yeah, you're in a cast. Oh, did you, you go to the nurse? Yes, I uh, did. Yeah. It, she wouldn't send me home. Uh, like well, I, I don't, said, I don't he, think it's he very was in a nurse. cast. <laughs> he was in a cast pretty much close up to his knee. And he was I was on mad as shit about that. The teacher came to our house. Mm -hmm. and I do remember that. I, I finished homeschool in like, like a month. Uh, yeah, it's like that. You they told you that you could go straight on to college, and you decided that you would in your senior year you wouldn't go that because you were a grand graduate with all your friends. Yeah, college is for chumps too. <laughs> so did it, was it the teacher from our from the school? No, I mean uh, I, 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 I for Mr. Jones. That's what his name is. Mr. Right, but did, Jones. He come, did he come from our high school? Uh, no, yeah. no, I had a I had a woman teacher. No, this uh, he it was no I had her. a. I had a woman teacher. Well, you, that was the first go-around. The second go-around was the man, Mr. Jones. I don't remember that. Hmm. So, anyway. Um, you remember Mr. Jones? And he was like, the guy who always caught people smoking. And like I said, well, I don't remember. They, he's, they said that you could test it out, go right on to college, and you decided that you would graduate with all your friends. All right, all right, fair enough. Well, all right, there, there we go. A little uh, brief insight into my craziness <laughs> it was, it was that transpired very, when I was younger. You were very exciting, and I learned a lot from your antics, that's for certain. <laughs> fair enough. <laughs> yes. But still, 
Everybody you're, learns you're, what not to do <clears throat> from Greg. And, well, yeah, but here, here's the thing. You also, your older sibling always used to say, yes, Greg is very smart, probably uh, way smarter than me. And you guys used to be very competitive when you were, because you were always in the gifted and talented, even in elementary school. And it's like you would, uh, competition. <gasps> Look, I got straight A's. What did you get? 